Ooh, look how spooky that is. Somehow got to navigate this forest in this horrendous visibility. But you know what I say, that makes it all the more fun. So, come at me Blair Witch. You can harvest my tender organs anytime. I can't see a goddamn thing, all this fog. It's quite eerie, isn't it? It's like some Sleepy Hollow type of affair. Too spooky. No Argentinians this time though. Just taking a moment to dry out my gloves. Since the recent storms have brought forth a moderate amount of flooding in this particular region, flooding has occurred in places that I previously wouldn't have thought to pay much attention to, so that means I took a little tumble into a newly formed creek. What can I say? But most importantly, how do you like them apples? Some Granny Smiths up in this. Look at the size of this bad boy. I'm gonna hazard an educated guess and say it's birch polypore or razor strop, whatever you want to call it. What's his proper name? Uh, Piptoporus benelinus, I believe. Anyway, if I recall correctly, when this fungi is young, it's edible. It's still technically edible when it's old and weathered like this, but hardly palatable, you know? Like eating bitter cardboard. But this fungi can be used medicinally as an anti-inflammatory, an antimicrobial, an all-around colon cleanser, if you will. But it's more favoured as an antiparasitic. Apparently it utterly rapes intestinal parasites, so good to know. See, now I'm curious as to what this looks like when I run. So let's pick up the pace. Let's go for a little jog. Do I stay in focus? But my bag's falling off. Fuck you, bag. We don't give a shit. Is that in focus or is it too blurry? Who knows? Who really gives a shit? Well, I'm gonna catch it. How about this? Three, two, one. Oh. Whoa, whoa. And again. Three, two, one. Oh. Whoa, bam! Looks like someone's been lounging about. Any moment now, I'm expecting a pissed off homeless person to come out of the trees and shove a knife right in my kidneys for sniffing around his den. But I must say, Mr. Whoever you are who made this, you picked a good spot for it because there's plenty of dead fallen kindling all around. Open sky clearing for a signal fire too. You know, 10 out of 10. Location, location, location. Got a couple of shout outs. One for the greasy slut. You know who you are. And the second is for my darling Harriet. For your outstanding contributions to my tings. For that, I am eternally grateful. Right, that's your shout out. Stop asking me. I've got a buddy joining me, but you know how it is. Can't find each other this deep into the woods. For all I know, we've had some errors in communication and he could be in that forest over yonder, if you can see that on the camera. But here's to hoping. Ah, them squats. Hope this is in focus. Anyway, ha ha! Time for fire. Yeah, caveman like fire. It's heavy shit, man. I tell ya. Freaking a sweat. But I don't have to travel far. But I do have to travel over a log. I'm gonna see if I can use this log to tilt the camera up a bit. There we go. There, there's a log. Don't know if you can see that on the camera, but god damn. You can't be there, mate. Yeah, I am pretty comfy, mate. Cheers. Well, as long as you're comfy there, doesn't it? Don't make me a cup of tea, yeah? Me doing all the hard work. You're a cheeky fuck, mate. I've done all the hard work, and you're fucking coming along with a few sticks. You're a disgrace. <laughs> Hang on, I'll be with you in a minute. Oh yeah, that's a pretty tree. 
Getting real festive up in here. Ooh, the red forest. I'll tell you, man, it's been a spooky day. Hello, cheeky bleaky. Oh, the camera's not in focus. Let me sort that out for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's real pretty. Anyway. Whoa, damn! Winter moons, man. They're so bright, I don't even need a headlamp right now. Clear as fuck. The sky is as black as the coffee I'm drinking. It's a shame the camera can't pick up all the stars though, but the camera can pick up two stars. Well, one star and one planet. Because this one right here is Jupiter, and just over yonder to the right is Aldebaran from the constellation of Taurus, but I don't think the camera's going to pick that up. Jupiter though, pretty cool, eh? Ain't that real purdy?